Hi, my name's Zach, but everyone just calls me Ranger Zach. This is my wife, Corey. She runs the camera. We have a daughter. Make that two daughters. And this is my dog, Dose. I also play a pretty mean guitar. For the last 10 years, I've been a real life park ranger, protecting wildlife, fighting forest fires, rescuing lost hikers, and doing all kinds of cool stuff along the way. Now I'm here to teach you everything that you need to know to be a real life park ranger too. Welcome to the Ranger Zach Show, everybody. To be a real life park ranger like me, you have to love nature. Luckily, we don't have to go far to experience it. Nature is all around us, from the air above us to the dirt below our feet. And hey, speaking of dirt, that's what I want to talk to you about today. Dirt. Wonderful, beautiful dirt. Let's go down and check it out. Now what you call dirt, scientists and farmers call soil. And without it, we really wouldn't have much nature at all. You see, plants need soil to grow. And herbivores, or plant-eating animals, need to eat those plants. And carnivores, or meat-eating animals, need to eat those animals. So I guess you could say that nature really starts from the ground up. Come on, let's go. So where does dirt even come from? Well, you see, to make dirt, we need four special ingredients. And the first one is rocks. Rocks like these behind me here. Given enough time, the wind and the rain and ice break these rocks down into small pieces that we call minerals. And that's the first ingredient when it comes to making dirt. The next of our four special ingredients is water. Yep, even the driest soils have some amount of water in them and some soils are saturated with it. Look at how wet and muddy this one is. And I think it's full of clay too. Now the next ingredient it takes to make dirt is air. <sighs> air can get into soil in all sorts of different ways, like bugs and worms wriggling away, or larger animals like this ground squirrel burrowing a hole. Knock, knock. Anybody home in there? Guess not. The last and final ingredient that we need to make dirt is organic matter which is really just a fancy name for things that are living or were once living. This old tree is a great example of what happens when insects and fungus start to break down organic matter and start making dirt. Come on, let's take a closer look. That's about it everybody. Today we learned it takes four special ingredients to make dirt. Minerals, water, air, and organic matter. Now let's head back to the ranger station and work on our observation skills. Welcome back to the ranger station everyone. Pretty cool place, huh? I brought you back here so we can look at the differences in three different types of soil. We're going to use our hawk eyes to spot the different materials you can find in each one. And we can use our raccoon hands to feel how different soils have different textures. We call this... Let's pour them out and have a look. Alright, I'm going to use my hawk eyes to spot the differences in the materials in each of these soils. Let's see. This one looks like it's full of sand and slightly damp. 
It's got small and large particles in it. This one looks very dry and has tiny, tiny particles as well. I can also see some small bits of grass and leaves. And this one you can tell is very, very dark. I noticed that it looks slightly damp and it's full of lots of plants material. Now let's use our raccoon hands to feel the difference. Oh yeah, I can tell that this one feels like wet sand. It's sort of rough. And it's got pieces of clay in it too. This one is very dry, but it feels a little bit more smooth until I find little pieces of dirt clots in it. This one feels definitely the lightest, sort of fluffy, and I can feel lots of pieces of plants in it. Can you tell me which one has the most organic matter in it? Point to it. That's right, it's this one. You can tell it has the most because I can find bits of bark, grass, twigs, leaves. It's very light, like it would make very good topsoil for a garden. Great job, Rangers. I'm going to go wash up, and while I'm gone, you can listen to a special song I wrote for you about dirt. One, two, three, four. Dirt don't hurt, in fact, it's really cool. It's where the plants and the animals live. Without dirt in the forest, the dirt on the farm, life wouldn't be what it is. We need dirt to grow food, for trees to grow tall. Animals to live both big and small So don't worry if you're dirty Cause you're looking pretty pretty And I think you look pretty cool And I think you look pretty cool Dirt can come in all sorts of ways It could be sandy or rocky or full of clay And each one's got a special part to play When it comes to nature's rules You got dirt in the garden Dirt on the trail Dirt in the meadow and under my nails So don't worry if you're dirty Cause you're looking pretty pretty And I think you look pretty cool And I think you look pretty cool You look cool Well, Rangers, we're almost at the end of our show, but there's time for one last thing, the Ranger Roundup. Today's question is from Reese, who lives in California. Hi, Rangers. My question is, where are deer's habitat? Bye. Great question, Reese. Deer are very adaptive animals, and they can be found in habitats all over the world. But all those habitats have a few special things in common. Plenty of water to drink, plants to eat, and cover or protection to safely hide from predators and raise their young. That's why we tend to find deer in woodland, meadow, and forest type areas. Well Rangers, that's all the time we have for this week. If you enjoyed our lesson, make sure to share, like, and subscribe to our channel. This week's Junior Ranger Challenge is to get outside and go get dirty. So tag us in a picture of your adventure at the Ranger Zach Show on Instagram for a chance to be featured as our Junior Ranger of the Week. This is Ranger Zach, over and out. Did you ever want to know what makes a tree grow tall? A white turtle wears a shell on its back. To you get your hiking boots and a walking stick. Come along with Ranger Zach. Come along with Ranger Zach. It's the Ranger Zach Show.